why I am putting uh, flour first is so that the egg will uh, coat it nicely. Otherwise, it will not coat so nicely. And generally, what happens is kids will not prefer to have oats yeah, as it is if you give them. So we have to camouflage things <laughs> for kids. done so we will keep it in the fridge for some time okay. in the meantime we will cut another chicken for our spaghetti into cubes right yeah i'll do it yes yes please a chef knife is this best chef tool right hmm? secret secret <laughs> you won't give us any tips sir on uh, a sharp knife can save a lot of your time wastage of food so is this okay. the reason why the knife yes. is very sharp? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm uh, putting the spaghetti in water. This will boil the spaghetti. Okay. For our I know it is not covering fully inside. Mm. So once On this will start the getting time. melted, then we will push it in. <laughs> time our uh, pasta is getting blanched what we will do is almost will, getting done right yeah. it will take some time 10 more minutes uh, in the meantime what we will do is we will make the white sauce uh, butter butter <laughs> this is the quickest way to chop no. should i help no, no, you're okay. <laughs> Today is your day, like you said. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> He's showing me some tips how to do it. <laughs> it should come like this a sandy texture. Okay. Once this is done, okay. we'll switch off the gas. And we will add the milk. Okay. Again, it's a slim milk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See the minute she came, she started. Huh? <laughs> this is the hardest thing I hate. So it's like that lump comes up when you make white sauce. Yeah. So how is this is the option? This is the option, and after this you can strain it. That is why I have switched off the gas. Ah. The trick is one should be hot and one should be cold. If your roux is hot, yeah, it's your really milk like should be MSC, cold. Right? It, it, the lumps will be strong. If your roux is hot, your milk should be cold. Okay. Either one of it has to be cold. Oh, okay. We will add a chicken also in this so that it gets cooked. Okay. Oh, in this itself. Yes, itself. It will give the flavor also. Oh, okay. But you have to be very careful. You should know the secrets because this will start getting hard now after a while. Yes. So you should know where to add so the chicken and how much water will be required to cook the chicken. So now there is no need of, uh, it's like, uh, the, there is no need of straining also. No, all ah, the lumps are actually gone. <laughs> the, the, the small yellow color is the garlic. Garlic. Yeah, mm -hmm. the garlic. That I've added for the flavor. flavor. I if you have cream, we can add a little bit of cream. Fresh cream. Mm, cream would nice give it a nice healthy effect also. Okay. Uh, also, we can add a little bit of cheese. Now, Any normal cheese or uh, any cheese? See, mm -hmm. usually we add parmesan in the hotel, but even home, you can add that amul cheese. We have this cheese spread. We can add this. Does your son eat this? Done. So our 
second dish is also done. This what we'll have to do is we will now okay. just bake it in the oven for max five minutes five. because it is already there. It is already cooked. Now we start it. Okay. Now our next dish uh, making a, a bread omelette, but in different style. Okay. So first, what we'll do, we'll break the eggs. Okay. We're taking three eggs. Onions, tomato, and coriander. We can add green chilies if you want, if he eats, because I'm making for the kid. You need green chilies? Yeah, yeah, he's okay with it. But he's little okay. bit, that's all. I'll get it. Yeah. One. Salt in this. So, where did you learn this from? My mother. Okay. When I was a kid, my mom used to make this for me. You were a fussy eater? No. No. <laughs> Nobody will say that I'm a fussy No, I am sorry. I actually enjoy eating. Uh, I can eat anyway. Mostly I enjoy more on the roadsides. Street oh, food. Okay. Yeah. So this is done. Our oil is hot. Pan is hot. Okay. So now what we will do is we will dip the bread in this. So that's the twist. <laughs> I was just thinking what he's going to do yeah, when he said right. it's a, there's a small change. <laughs> Next time for Neil. <laughs> One of the simplest dishes, but again, very different. Very good. So how have you, uh, you know, got into this, like, this is your passion? Uh, I guess it was destined for me to be a chef. We should ask him whether he cooks at home. Nobody, <laughs> no one, I know that. <laughs> that he wouldn't I be hardly, doing. I am hardly at home. <laughs> but still, like uh, there would be one uh, one moment like... Yeah, I enjoy cooking. So I'm saying whenever I get a chance, okay. I like to cook for my son. Uh -huh. uh, and you know, mostly I'm not at home. I am always at work. A very busy chef. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>